So with our own first batch of yaws, which are due to lamb this week, we brought all the yaws in from the hill, and we went through, we went through all their others, and whoever was spring the most, we just put a dot on their back, and we brought them into the sheep shed, because we can keep an eye on them. The weather is absolutely shocky at the moment, so we don't want anything lambing outside, so we want to keep an eye on them under the roof. There's one there underneath. Ah, oh, you f***ing my leg. What happened? You f***ing door closed in it. Really hope the weather picks up in a few days because just you're going, to, you're going to run into serious problems if the weather stays like this. There's only so much, so much space you have inside to keep in the oars and lambs, and you got to let them out and just build up a bacteria and everything, and it would go, it would go in absolute shit inside as well. Never mind outside in the fields where the ground is absolutely sopping. We're going to have days like this, though. Good days and bad days. It won't stop raining no more, I'd say. What you make of it? What you think of the rain? It's a bit of a bad. It's raining every day, you know. We're calling out the ones near us, Lemmy. How are you doing there? No, I'm just feeding down about the ones with the biggest ones. You could be wrong and, and, and that one. Could be right in the most of them. Red, right, change. Red, change red. Red, right, change. Red, change red. So the slats have all been power washed and disinfected with lime and we just fed the twins out in the yard and we're going through them and they're going to be coming in, coming in there soon off and yeah because they're due to start lambing from tomorrow. Is it going to stop raining anymore? I'd say not, when the water spot will be washed away. So we also got a chance this week to spread our first round of fertilizer. So urea is what we use. We're quite elevated and high up here and we get a lot of rain. So we've tried other fertilizers over the, over the last few years and urea always comes out on top. So that's why we use it. The reason I'm bringing the Jeep, the Jeep here is because our fertilizer spreader is, um, is not blocking the fertilizer coming out the bottom. So... Fertilizer is fairly pricey at the moment and it's, you can't be wasting it on the road fall out so that's why we bring the Pajero to the fields where we're spreading and we just load the bags there. So the tractor's out of action. We've got a bad puncher there with the, the wheel there. We have to take out the hay now with um, the jeep and trailer. Yeah, there was no one around today for Paddy's Day to fix it so hopefully we'll have it back in action as soon as possible. So the tractor got a puncher so we have to get it repaired and we have to push the hay now into the trailer to 
car out to all yours. So lambing 2023 is well underway here and the first of the Yoast lamb are the Sweden Yoast I bought there a couple of months back. So we're looking to go down the mule route over the next few years and there are some great lambs off them and the good thing about them what we saw straight away is the yos all lambed unassisted and, and the lambs were very eager to get up and suck straight away. If the weather continues to be really bad over the next few weeks We'll, we'll really be thinking our schedule for the lambing next year because we were even thinking it start our last year about pushing it out for this year, but we didn't. But because last year was a great year for lambing, the weather was really good. But in April, if we push it back to April, there's longer days, there's better growing conditions. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll try to get another video out during the week there or later on in the week, see how lambing is going. Cheers.